Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won! I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone, we've earned this celebration. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Dance Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor? What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. 
Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The knights are well aware of our enemy strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever.
Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together when you find the time. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other person here who's learned from Captain Gerald. Professor, hey, do you know- That's enough. It's- By the time- I guess if you put- for my... well, it's... it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Uh, um, okay. Oh, Professor, I was just... You remind me of someone I know. Professor, nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try.
And this one? Please come again. Maybe. Welcome. Come back soon. So... Just wanted to spawn. What? I just. Hello. You there. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Hey. Oh, Professor. How are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. What makes you say that? Do you know something I don't? Are there supernatural elements at play? Ghosts? Ah! Oh, forget it. I'll be going now. Hm. That's right. Bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. How about this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Greetings. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? 
Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Yes? I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here to ask a favor, please ask someone else. Right. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. Would you kindly do something for me? Normal. By the time you're free, I guess if you put it that Professor, that it's not by the time I guess if you put it. I have a request. That said, your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Hey there. Accept the necessity of real battle from time to time, but it is still a surprise to be tasked with punishing bandits without warning. 
It is a rather different sort of mission. It makes me wonder what the Archbishop is planning. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? Is there anything else you wish to ask me about regarding spending your time at the monastery or battles? Just as students have much to learn from other students, professors can also share their knowledge with each other. You should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another, pending your approval, of course. If you become closer with the students by partaking in the various activities around the monastery, you'll be able to talk to them about such things. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly, but I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, can we talk later? <laughs> 